why MJ you don't need to sell yourself just sell you know this get yourself like, some pictures or whatever and uh, sell them on, you know sell them on eBay or send them to people and you know charge like five dollars or ten dollars a piece for them people will pay a lot for them I guess I'd pay, pay you know for an autograph picture that'd be all right why well, he personalized it and everything but anyway so let's see what's inside the first item that I got huh. <laughs> Well, okay, the first item that I got here, I'm just going to do it like this. MJ, you bubble wrapped it pretty well. I appreciate that. It's pretty cool. I got hit what he uh, showed. If you remember, if you go see the video, maybe I'll use it as a video response or something, this video. But anyway, this is the uh, original. This is for the Ghostbusters, the first Ghostbuster movie uh, book. And it actually is pretty cool, you know. Cause it just like you said, you know, because I have the part two of the part two book, which I have somewhere over here. I think I tacked it up a little bit. Why? Well, just so you know, just for to put it on my wall, and I'll probably do the same thing with this. I won't tack it up. I'll just put it somewhere, somewhere nice. But it has like you know rare photos, you know, from the from the film, just like MD said. And where's that one of Dan, or Harold Ramis that he was talking about that he showed us? But like rare ones, like even like this one here, like this one. You know, I don't remember ever seeing this one in the movie. You know, this is a Fort Tex, anyway. I don't remember. But a lot of rare stuff, you know. But I want to find that one of Harold Ramis that he was talking about. You know, that he showed. A lot of rare, like Dad Aykroyd. You know, a rare one of him. That you, you know, I'm sure you didn't see the movie. Or maybe you did. Maybe this is like when they actually moved up there. This is the one of Harold Ramis. Like, you know, just rare, rare stuff, you know. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but, you know, just rare, rare stuff. So, you know, thank you, MJ. You know, you are the man. You know, I think this costs like $15 total with shipping and everything. But, you know what? It's worth it. I mean, you're helping a friend out, you know. It, it's worth it. I mean, I know originally he was asking 30 for it, but... That was just because of the eBay thing. Well, <laughs> I got a little bonus gift from him, too. I still got one other thing to show. But I got a bonus thing from him. So we're talking about autographed pictures and everything? <laughs> wow. I think this is his way of, uh... Oh, cool. He sent me an autographed picture. <laughs> what are the odds of that? We were just talking about autographs and pictures and all that stuff. And he actually sent me a picture of, of uh, uh, you know, of him. I think this is an eBay photo or whatever, but, uh, yeah, I appreciate that, MJ. Wow, that's pretty cool. You know, I think because of the fact that I've, uh, that, well, obviously, like I said, we've never met. You know, we've never, you know, met ever, but, but we, you know, I've given him stuff, too. I've, I've, I've sent him, like, uh, cards in the mail, you know, for birthdays and stuff like that with a few, you know, some money and all that stuff, and, and I've said some other things too, letters. And then we've chatted back and forth online and all that stuff. So it's kind of cool what the internet can bring you, you know. And it brings you a friend anyway, you know. A good friend. And that's what it's all about. Wow, that's pretty cool. I didn't pay for that. That he just gave it to me. All right. And last but not least, and this is the one that I really, really was looking forward to because I will put this on my wall because it's definitely worth it. You know, you'll, you'll see it in that video that I... That I show you, or that I use as a response. And this one, I don't know, MJ, how long you've had this for. You probably had it since the movie came out, since you were a little kid. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> oh yeah, packed up, whatnot. This is the this is the Ghostbuster. I think there's tin foil in here, whatever. I think that's why it's sparkly, whatever. Yeah. Anyway. The Ghostbusters <coughs> sparkly frame, and at first when I saw this, uh, when you showed it, I thought it was actually like your sparkles, you know, like glitter and crap and all that. And at first I wasn't going to get it, I wasn't going to even put a bid for it, but I thought, well, you know, I'll give it a shot and see what, you know, because it could be different than what I'm thinking. And it's like tin foil underneath there, kind of. Yeah, it's like tin foil or whatever. But that's probably why it's sparkly, or whatever, because I think it's a, it's a, like a Ghostbuster thing. But it's still, you know, that's perfect. It doesn't matter. It's perfect. 
Well, thanks, MJ. Man, you are a pretty cool guy. You know, it's nice to say now that I actually can say that I've owned something that that, uh, that he owns now, or that he owns. You know, so it's, it's almost like a personal thing, kind of. You know, but uh, other than that, that's about it. That's all I have to show for you tomorrow. I will be doing a review, a DVD review on the Money in the Bank DVD. Uh, I was pretty impressed with that 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 uh, event. I uh, kind of wish there was more uh, uh, mat, you know, another Money in the Bank match, just for the hell of it. It could be for the you know Intercontinental title or something, but oh well, maybe that's an idea for next year or whatever. But that will be tomorrow's video. We'll see you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, that's, once again, thanks Amazon.com and thanks MJ Kelly. Uh, you guys are pretty, uh, you guys are all right.